it happens, you fumble your phone, it falls to the floor. Phones are expensive, so you want one that can handle everyday use. 12 your Slides, Marilyn Moritz finds out how Consumer, Consumer Reports tests phones for durability and how you can pick out a good protective case. Apple's iPhone 15 Pro Max isn't cheap, so when people complained online that it broke easily... We fact-checked those complaints, and in our updated bend test and our standard drop test, we found no structural issues with the 15 Pro Max. The other three iPhone 15 models passed the drop test as well. Like they do with every phone, Consumer Reports dropped them 100 times in a tumbler lined with stone to simulate dropping a phone to the concrete from the waist high. All phones get the rain test, and those that claim to be water resistant get the dunk test. And folding phones? They're opened and closed 30,000 times. Besides choosing a phone that passes the durability test, there are other ways to protect your precious device. Well, with phones costing more than $1,000, it may make sense to get a case or a screen protector to protect your investment. Here's what to look for in a case. A raised edge around the screen to protect the glass from a face plant raised edges around the rear camera housing to protect the lenses, and padded corners, preferably with an air gap to protect from impact. A case with texture or grip is less likely to slip from your hands. And remember that military grade may just be a marketing ploy. And look for a warranty. OtterBox, LifeProof, and Spec all offer one. As for screen protectors, if you've got an adorable reason to think your screen is in danger, it may be worth considering. If you or your kids are rough on your pricey phone, it can make sense to go ahead and buy the insurance. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.